What are you guys doing? No, now when I get out, we'll look at this. What is that? They're dead. They're dead? Yeah. Oh no. That's not good. Then what? I don't know. Then uh -oh, will... I can Then what if they are dead? Well, uh -oh, I don't know. Then I everyone would be sad. Uh-oh, I said. Then the Magic Kingdom will close. Yeah, it would close. You're right. Okay. Uh oh. Pull, leave it down. No, don't leave it. Yet. Hey, can you put it back? Put it back. Thank you. Wait till he says you can grab it, okay? Hey guys, how are you? The boys are playing so cute together. More and more as Porter gets older, I've just been seeing them play together. They go down in the basement and play games. A lot of times it ends in tears and fights, but. Just for them to have like a playmate and give me a break, especially since I'm always with the baby now. It's super fun to see. I am in Avery's room. I'm in the nursery. She's downstairs taking a nap right now. But I am kind of sad because I think I need to go and put away all her newborn clothes. You guys, how did that happen? She turned five weeks yesterday and i put on a newborn outfit two days ago i think two or three days ago and it was like small on her and we went to the pediatrician a couple days ago and they said she's like basically nine pounds now and still like 21 and a half inches tall so she's she's just like she's gained two pounds and like she doesn't need newborn outfits anymore but like that makes me super sad because like when they're this little they don't get to wear the outfits as long as you want them to and so she only got to wear each outfit like a handful of times and now it's like over and then like i'm super sad because like what if I, what if i don't have any more girls like what if that was it so i'm super sad i think i'm gonna have to like put up all the newborn outfits it's bittersweet it's exciting because now i get to pick like get out all the zero to three month outfits and have her start wearing those which there are a ton of cute outfits there and it's new but i'm super sad that the newborn outfits i think are done i have one box that i've been going through of the newborn diapers and then i'm gonna be done with those and then we'll move on to size one diapers so that's crazy as well i did have to go out and get newborn diapers one extra time after she was born but other than that i think i did pretty good guessing on how many newborn diapers i would need so after that, we'll move to size one. I have a ton of size one and a ton of size two diapers. So I'm good for a while on that. But it's just so crazy. Like she's going to be in zero to three month clothes. Like that makes me sad. So but it's good because she's growing and we do need her to grow. But anyway, I'm going to put up those clothes. I'm also vlogging because today, after nap time, we're gonna meet up with my sister. Her school is doing like some, I think it's called like Kid Fest. And I think it's just like a bunch of activities for kids to do. They're gonna have like a blow up inflatables, jump bounce house and probably arts and crafts and face painting and who knows what else they're gonna have. And so Allison invited me and the kids to come. I'm going to leave Avery here with Anthony. He said he would watch her. We'll see how it goes. We've done the bottle a couple times, but she hasn't taken to it yet, obviously. Like, she's used to the boob and the bottle is way different. We'll see how that goes. Anthony said if he can't get her to eat and she's a hot mess, then I'm just going to have to leave and come home, which I'm prepared to do. But hopefully I'll be able to get the camera out and show the boys playing. They're so excited. They love their Aunt Allison and they love going to her school and seeing her classroom and stuff. We're gonna go early so that we can be like one of the first ones there before it gets too busy. And then um, hopefully Avery will just sleep the whole time while I'm gone, but knowing my luck, who knows what she'll do. So we will see about that. We have Berkeley here. Hi, Berkeley. She's so tired. We're dog sitting for my parents. They're coming to get her tomorrow, um, but we're just watching her for, well, they brought her yesterday and then all of today. And Grayson, what do you want me to go see? Show me what you want me to see. Over the balcony? 
Yeah. Grayson spelled a word, and so I need to go see it over the balcony and see what he spelled. Okay, well, Porter was touching some of Grayson's letters, so he was spelling Brazil, which is really cool. But anyway, I'm going to sadly put some what? newborn clothes away. I've been doing laundry. Friday's like my laundry cleaning days. I do the floor. I mop the floors. I do the laundry and do trashes and just different stuff like that. So I'm just trying to get as much done as I can while Avery is napping before I have to put Porter down for a nap and we go to this kid fest thing. So at least it's something to get out of the house, something to do. And then this weekend, we don't have too much going on, so I don't know if I'll vlog. Grayson has a soccer game tomorrow, so I'll probably take him to that. And Anthony will probably stay back with the kids, or maybe we'll all go together. That seems like a lot. I don't know. We'll see. And then Sunday, I have a baptism class that I have to go to. Yeah, I have to go to two of them. It used to be only one. Now they're making us go to two. I've already gone to the baptism class twice, so I don't think there's really going to be too much more that I'm going to learn. But I have to do it to get a rebaptize i will do it so uh that is on our agenda this weekend that's kind of it so not too much not too many exciting things tell me you're breastfeeding and your kids watch you but not tell me are you playing with my pump yeah you're putting it on your belly i want this one I was pumping last I night because one Avery one only one. ate from one side, I one. but I didn't want to wake everyone up in the room, I so I came in the nursery one. and did it, and now I the boys have discovered one. my pump. Wait your turn, Porter. I love playing with my pump. Wow. <laughs> Porter's actually my big helper. He helps get me get my haka so I can catch the milk. He helps me get the milk bag so I can put it in the fridge. He's actually a really good helper. Gray just likes to play with the pump. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's coming. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, you did it. Yay. Did you like that? Nice job, Aiden. You went down fast. Oh my god. Let's get Okay. video and I realized I never ended it <laughs> um, so I thought I would just recap how the kids fest was it was super fun the kids loved it they had a couple different um, inflatables that kids could climb up and slide down then there was one that you could like race someone Grayson loved it he was at a great age for it they were a little too big for Porter the one was like a huge slide which Porter would have loved to go down but you had to climb a huge wall like it was like a rock wall and Porter just couldn't do it so he couldn't do that one and then there was another one where you could race and again you had to like climb like a pretty sizable wall and so Porter couldn't do that one they did have a bounce house, which is only for kids like five and under, I think, which that was what my kids were most excited about. So they got in it right away and they took up to like 10 kids at a time or something. And within the first minute or so, Porter ended up like falling into someone and getting hurt. And he was over it and never wanted to get back in the bouncy house. So that was a kind of a bummer, but they had tons of just like little games that like you know, games you find at carnivals like you gotta uh, pick up a duck and see if you've got a certain thing on the underside of it and if you did you want a prize or try to throw a ball into a cup and if you did you want a prize all of the prizes were like candy so my kids got tons of suckers 
and we got to meet a bunch of my sister's kids that were in her class and they had pizza so we got pizza which porter was pumped about because he's our pizza fiend he loves pizza it was really good weather really nice day super fun we stayed a lot longer than we thought we would we stayed for like two hours i think two or three hours it was really fun so it was a good time the boys loved it they were super tired afterwards anthony had a little bit of trouble with avery while we were gone he tried to get her to drink a bottle the whole time we were gone and she would not do it we have had issues with her taking a bottle she doesn't want to take a bottle she only wants the boob so I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna do about that but poor anthony he tried really hard and as soon as i got home she was so happy to get the boob instead of the bottle so poor thing yeah it was super fun kids had a great time uh it was like i said earlier it was just a great excuse to get out of the house so that's gonna be it for this vlog thank you so much for watching does your school do something like this i think grayson's new school where he'll go to next year does something like this it's not called kids fest but it's like i think they call it like springtacular or something which is it's basically the same thing so i'm sure we will be going to more of those in the future but thank you so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time Bye.